In the past, on casting 442626A1, we have experienced some core shift. We do have a template to validate the core shift, and we do have a sample gasket, which represents the lines shown on the template. So what is done is the template is placed on the actual casting, and you'll validate that the mounting holes, as you can see in the four corners, are completely lined up. Now you may have to cheat a certain direction on the holes to make sure that they're equally lined up or offset. So once your four holes are completely lined up, you can then use the template to validate the actual core shift. When we say core shift, it's everything that you see that is unmachined and this is a 3D printed core, all one piece. So what we do is make sure that none of the black lines that represent the RTV sealant on the gasket fall within a cavity. So as you look at where they are traced on this part, they are completely on the machined face. This will ensure that there's a seal all the way around each pocket or cavity and the perimeter, that there are no leaks and in no way that gasket will fail in respects to a core shift. So for example, this is an acceptable part. If I were to move this to what we have seen previously, you will see that the lines do not fall within the cavity. That would be indication of a failure. In this case, where we had it lined up, as you've seen previously before, it is correct to the gasket and lands on the machine face, creating a solid seal around every cavity, pocket, and perimeter.